but I think it's relevant. I think um, and we we had shared some information between the few of us, uh, and it's just like the, I mean the, the the landscape of men's volleyball as we move forward, and you're seeing some media stuff go through about, you know, some conferences making this charge for, you know, cutting down sports, you know, being below 16 on the equivalency, and then you're seeing the the reaction back from all these Olympic sports, which I certainly think is good. I, I think you need those. It's really neat if you saw the letter that came across. It's not just the ABCA, but it's all these organizations, swimming, diving, wrestling, uh, lacrosse. And so I think the fact that all these sports and all their leaders or their organizations have got together to kind of say, hey, hold on a second. Let's evaluate this and look at this. And uh, and certainly there's it's individual institutions that are challenged by budgets. And we saw Urbana go under and we lose a program, but that wasn't because men's volleyball just left. The whole school left. I, I don't think that's done. But at least I'm seeing, you see this thing come out by these uh, conferences, and then you see all these organizations kind of say, hey, wait a minute. So the fact that there's some things in place that are like at least already, boom, on top of the fast, I think that's a good thing. So. I would agree, and, and I'll piggyback quickly. I know we're running out of time. The, the fact that football has 85 scholarships is absolutely ridiculous. You know, they've got four guys deep on scholarship money, on, on full rides at, at some of the big programs. Four guys deep. Imagine if we had 24 scholarships. It would be ridiculous. Um, now, I'm not saying football is not deserving of having, you know, everything it does. I know it creates lots of revenue. But 85 scholarships, really? Can we not sacrifice a few of those so that we can save the sports that are creating opportunities for everybody else in your school to participate and create a hype around instead of football? I just, I have a hard time giving any sympathy to football. I just don't. Right. Well, and especially I want to add as well, for most of these schools that are non-Power 5, student revenue is still, and tuition fees are still one of the big driving factors for the athletic budget. You know, I can speak, for instance, when I was at Ball State University, $600 a, a year went straight to the athletics department on my tuition, you know, zero state. So, you know, I also want to remind people, you know, as you see this come out and you may say, oh, well, it's five conferences, you know, the only school that has a men's volleyball team in it is uh, Ball State. They're well protected because a lot of it's alumni funding. Any decision like this will have ripple effects across the country. So it's important that we pay attention to things like, like this and really make a stand early before it's too late. Yep. Well, excellent call. Thank you for sharing that, Dan. I didn't know if you had enough time to do that, but I will definitely clip that and put that on social media immediately because that's the kind of stuff I was hoping to get from our conversation through text yesterday. So, um, hey, again, everyone, thank you so much. And remember, go and support the cause. I, I, do you have a um, – I saw the email, but I didn't get the exact – website they had for that information on that that movement that's trying to get started by that that power five uh, conference yeah i don't have it either so all right i'll post it in the comments in the description because i have the email so uh hack in the quarantine baby here we go <laughs> all right we're back in quarantine cover me i'm going in <laughs> there we go we're out thanks a lot guys, all right, guys.